morning. Hello. It's Eminem in Paris. Hello. Hello. We're reunited. We are in Paris for a girls trip. We are so excited. Je suis très excité. Très, très, très. Très, très, très. Le croissant. Uh, Oh, we just, the cheese, du fromage, oh my gosh, we're just very, very happy. I used to live in Montreal, so I'm used to the French so life. So speak, speak French. So I speak French in my own way, <laughs> when I'm tipsy and confident. We just checked into our room, which we literally bought this hotel yesterday. We've had this trip booked for ages, but I was in Florida, so we've been very behind. It's very cute, it's lovely, and we are going to go out and just embrace this sunshine, get our bearings. I think this is our first trip to Paris that we've ever done together. Yeah, it's also a very affordable hotel that's literally yeah. just been renovated. It was, we, we just found it. I actually found this hotel on Expedia, I think. Well, Emily sent me it, and then I was on the cruise trying to get it to load, and I was like, yeah, let's book it. So, we're happy, it's got a rooftop, I'll take you to it. So I've got this cute little dress on, Emily's just getting ready behind me, and we're gonna go on day one, although it's the afternoon, basically go and chase the light before it gets dark and see what we can do today. First stop, I think we're gonna have some lunch, because we are hungry. Little terrace with our hotel and the Eiffel Tower. Last time I came to Paris, I did an Instagram story, and I basically said, oh my gosh, I can't claim VIT back in Chanel or designer shopping. And so many of you guys messaged me and you're like, uh, yes you can, and you showed me how. So I am absolutely thrilled that this time I am more prepared because we want to do some shopping. And I have an app called the WeVat app. WeVat is basically a digital tax refund app and it makes it super, super easy. So it's easier, I'll just pop it on screen so you can see it on my phone. It's so easy, it talks you through everything step by step. If you do have a trip coming up, download it before shopping and then it will be valid at customs. You can even upload your invoices and stuff, it just makes it so easy. You basically just have to ask for an invoice when you get to the store and they make it so easy because on their like FAQs and stuff it tells you stores that you can get these invoices from and in French you ask for a facture, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right but that's what you ask for. Facture just means invoice in French and then you just have to get it addressed to WeVat but again all of this information is going to be on the screen so you can ride along with me. Emily you want to do some shopping right? Absolutely. So we can actually claim some money back. To be honest, when people messaged me on Instagram telling me to do this, I was like, this sounds so stressful, I'm stressed. And then when I downloaded their app, they even have like great customer service that you can chat to. I was like, this is so easy because it's all digitalized. As you can see on the screen, it's literally in an app. Bish bash bosh, so easy. I'd be pleased to know that Gucci, Fendi, Coach, Apple, so many of my favorite stores are actually on the list. Basically, we have a super easy list, a handy list that shows you all the top stores that you can get these from. So where are you gonna go? I'm gonna go to Hermes um, <laughs> because I'm gonna buy a barking. Um and then I'm gonna go to the other Hermes and get another Birkin because clearly I've got such a rapport with so many of the sales associates it's gonna be so straightforward. That would be the dream shopping trip if we had Christina with us because she's <laughs> the queen. But I think I'm actually gonna go to, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, Pollen? Pauline? They do really nice bags and I actually saw that they are on the list and I've always wanted one so I may as well go there. Well, you can get a VAT refund on eligible items. <gasps> this is just us getting ready whilst oh, I'm telling you this. <laughs> as long as you have the invoice registered to WeVat, so it's super easy. Emily was just asking me how much we can claim back. We're really planning this. Yeah. And basically, if you were to spend, say, 500 euros, you would get 13.4% back, which is around 66 euros, I believe. Don't quote me on that maths, but it's around that with the WeVat app, which I think is insane like that's very good oh my gosh so worth it that's dinner that is dinner that's dinner so basically you can come shopping with us and i'll show you the kiosk that you go to when we get back to the garden nord and all of that jazz but i just wanted to tell you that in case you are planning a trip because i got so many questions on instagram when i did a q a about paris last time asking if i got anything back on my shopping and asking me about tax-free shopping and to be fair i didn't know much about it until i heard about WeVat. so let's go and get some lunch <laughs> Here she is. We went for a late lunch slash early dinner with my friend. I know it's been there for hours and now we're just walking back to the hotel. You should see how beautiful the Eiffel Tower looks. I know it's a cliche because it's the Eiffel Tower and I guess that's what everyone comes to Paris to see. But every time I come, I'm just like, you're so beautiful. Swear, where are we going? 
We're going to Carrefour to get some snacks. Or Carrefour. Em calls it Carrefour. Honestly, she, someone can someone make a compilation on TikTok of all the things that she pronounces wrong? Please? I pronounce everything wrong. You might need to use the 10 minute video feature. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go and do a French food haul because why not? Oh my God. Is that honey? That's honey. That calls me bit moaning myrtle. Myrtles. Oh, they have um, cacao spread. I used to be obsessed with these as a kid. They were so good. I've never tried these. I used to get BN BNs though. Who remembers BN BNs? Good morning, Perry. Oh my gosh, you are so beautiful. Bonjour. Starting the day with a pastry, a pan of raisin, because it's my favorite. And they got a croissant. Dropping my face. Mm. Oh my gosh, so good. We're very happy mm. walking to a bit of a sunrise Eiffel Tower. It's a little bit chilly this morning. It's going to warm up. We had a late dinner on arrival last night. Um, we didn't end up eating until like five. I mean, that's an early dinner, but it was then we just weren't hungry before bed. So we had some snacks in bed, and then I was just jet lagged, so I went to sleep. But today is a new day. Excited. So we've arrived at the most beautiful spot in Paris, Rue de la Université. Um, it's actually like a 20 minute walk from our hotel, but we did a big loop, which was really nice because it meant that we got our steps in on this lovely morning. Um, the sun is shining and it's just beautiful here, so I'm gonna enjoy this view before we head for some brunch. Hi, I'm Em. And I'm Em. These are our outfits in Paris. So beautiful. This bakery is absolutely stunning. We're definitely gonna go see what's inside. This store is incredible. They actually have one in South Kensington. Oh my gosh, look at the chocolate. Can you just buy the chocolate? Or is that because they're making it? The Dior stores here are literally stunning. I want the Dior book. Oh my gosh, how divine. If the past is gone, we are doing it wrong. You want the French toast? I got a side of breakfast potatoes, bacon, and then I went for pancakes. Bon appetit, baby. Hello from Kiff. So we accidentally got in a line for a trainer drop. Outfit of the day. Outfit of the day. They're ugly, but they're efficient. I had a different outfit on, but I got changed because we were taking photos wearing a new coat. But yeah, we basically got in a line She's for a train. We fully influence the stuff and like carry other outfits. <laughs> I know because then we can enjoy and relax tomorrow. That's the plan. So we're taking you to all the sites today. Yeah. Got in the line for trainers at Kith, not realizing that you could just walk straight in for breakfast. Do you know what? I'd love to go to Sephora. Oh yeah, absolutely. You guys need to come here because basically it's Sadell's, which is from New York. The most insane breakfast and brunch. Right, let's go to Sephora, let's do a bit of shopping. <laughs> We're using a lot of sugar. A lot of sugar, a lot of sugar. The French toast was banging. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> The coat's gonna have to come off because it is summer. It's literally summer in Paris in March. Very happy about this, but this is so beautiful. But such a busy spot, a bit of beautiful weather. One of my favorite areas of Paris. This is just utterly divine. Hello. I don't know why my camera is suddenly so zoomed in. I went for a run. So basically we have, we did like nine hours outside walking, going out this morning early to shoot, to go to like all of the beautiful locations that Paris has to offer. Oh my gosh, we were so tired after brunch. We stopped for a coffee and then we are just like, yeah, let's go back and regroup. So we sat on the terrace and we basically just did a bit of work, caught up. I napped, like I literally napped on the terrace because I think jet lags hit me. Then I somehow powered through and went for a run. Just did a quick 7K 
along the river. It was so beautiful. And now we're ready for dinner. We're very excited. I'm wearing this top, which I just love with these trousers. I'm wearing trainers so I can walk because I've got shin splints. Story of my life. But we're going to a beautiful restaurant near the Eiffel Tower that my friend has recommended. He's actually going to meet us there for dinner. So first, we're going to have a pre-dinner dinner which is Emily's idea with a pizza and just watch the sunset together because I mean, that's what you do. We're basically each other's girlfriends. <laughs> Surprise, shall we? <laughs> We're basically just gonna sit and have a romantic evening. As we should. Cause that's As what you deserve. do. Self care, baby, self care. That's what it is. Let's go. You're invited. Just don't look at it. Every soul. We made it, we got a nine euros pizza and we are literally sat here, literally. It just does not get nicer than this, does it? Gorgeous, gorgeous girls, follow directions to meet their friend for dinner. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls, walk 30,000 steps a day and go for a 7k run. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls. It is Emma. <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous girls. Really Switch our trainers. Emma tonight. Emma, I love it Emma. when I love it when French people say Emma, they're like, Emma? They're like, Emma? No, it looks oh, like so H2O. Nice. My Cleena, my she says my name in such a beautiful way. I love it when people with the accent. Your Cleena is so nice. She's the sweetest. She is really lovely. Okay, guys, so. We had the most amazing pizza by the river appetizer. starter and appetizer. And now we are just heading. We're high on life. We're very happy, excited, thrilled to be here. I don't know why we're happy. Hi, and like excited. <laughs> I know, because we really had our sugar at like 11 a.m. Yeah. Should have worn off by now. I should have run it off by now. We are basically just heading to the top of the street to meet the gorgeous Nicola. And we're gonna eat some more food, but we're gonna change our shoes first. Guys, look how big this moose is in Tom Harrison. This is this is my hand. Oh, it's so good. This is even. Oh my god, ridiculous. Hello. Oh my gosh, dinner was out of this world. It was so freaking good. It was just like the cutest place ever. I had a truffle pasta, and they had salmon. We had this mousse for dessert, which I'm sure you saw was like so the most insane mousse I've ever had in my entire life. It was like bigger, big enough to be the village, to be honest. Now, if you wonder where we are, this is the Eiffel Tower. The Tour Eiffel. In case you didn't know, and we are waiting, it's 10.55. We are waiting until it hits 11, because on the hour, every hour after nightfall, it sparkles for five minutes. So we want to see her sparkle before we go to bed. It's like the Disney fireworks, it's the equivalent. Oh, I know. There she is, gorgeous, gorgeous. Good morning, hello. We had a little, little lion this morning, a lot of a lion, which we clearly needed. We're in this cutesy little dress. We're heading out, the sun is amazing. And we're actually gonna do like a really nice area of Paris today, one of my favorite areas, which we'll take you over to, do more shopping. Oh my gosh, I think we're gonna go try and find Cedric, who does the most amazing pastries. We're gonna go to some cafes, and I'm gonna finally go and buy my bag. We just haven't been over that side of Paris yet. We need to do more shopping, because we haven't really done much shopping, have we? We've only done food shopping, I would say. Yeah, we've browsed, but now today's the day we're gonna go and make We've browsed, purchases. but today's the purchase day because where we're going today is like the best shops. So we're gonna do that, which I'm very excited about. And on the WeVat app, it actually literally says to you, this is what you need to show the sales assistant. I'll pop it on the screen, which I think is amazing. So let's give it a go. I know they have one in Notting Hill. We found a Suzanne. However, it's closed. Oh, I'm so sad. I'm here with Matt last time and it's overrated for hot chocolate. But it's a bit of a Paris institution, I think. Oh, look at the cakes. In the pre-breakfast hunt for the boulangerie, we have a family that have taken our fancy right now. Oh no, well, they Emily's just found one and it's definitely taken her fancy. And um, the street we're on is gorgeous, but none of the shops are actually open. Just want to and it's 10.30 a.m. Are they do do punish chocolates in there? It looks quite posh. It looks very posh. We're looking for authentic. I'm not saying that they're not authentic, but you know. Yeah, it's literally stunning. This is the road, if you want to see. And a patisserie, and we were about to order. And we saw a fly on the pano raisins. And I don't really have milk. So we're now stood at a really cute little coffee shop that has a huge line, which is always a good sign. Okay, that cook 
Milky was insane. Like maybe a little bit too much sugar for a morning, but it was from one of the most amazing bakeries and I went there last time I came to Paris my friend recommended it. It was just insane. Now we are heading towards, oh, we walked through the park where um, Lulu's is. We're just heading towards like the Louvre and that kind of area to explore and shop as well. Been doing some walking and then we went to Carousel Cafe, which is actually really nice. It was really lovely. The crepes were delicious. Really good. The, the wait, the uh, blah, blah. it was busy, but it was lovely. Like, we just sat in the sun and just soaked up. I had a carrot juice, you had a latte. It was very vibey. It's it just really nice. Good, yeah. Um, so now we are just in the square, which I just love at Christmas. This place is stunning. I would say this is probably my favorite square in Paris. And if you're looking for it, I would just type in the Ritz. Basically, the Ritz is here. It just has really insane designer stores. Basically, like every designer store you can think of. Lots of jewelry around here. So we're just going to have a little mooch and then we will head over to do some shopping. Isn't it funny? my Cedric dessert it's in my bag and I really hope I don't break it because he said it's very um, fragile so I think maybe sit on a bench and eat it after we've been in here we are now just at Palen which I'm really excited about because apparently it's super easy in here with Weaver to get the refund so I'm gonna head in and find a bag they have some really nice ones for like 200 to 250 I just thought well, that's okay. a good price yeah trade. I know it's like high high-end great quality but without spending 1,500 pounds love that let's go baby popular one plus so I was just gonna get like something like that the nano it's really nice isn't it Gosh, that's cute. I feel like Freddie has one of these. I've seen it on someone before, yeah, and I've been like, wow. Oh, I like that one. I was thinking of maybe just getting like a brown. Definitely gonna buy one now as well. I love different bags. Yeah, and it's actually a French brand, so it feels like very. I love these ones. Yeah, I feel like it must be Freddie that I've seen them on. My gosh, I love this one in pink. I like any of these colours. Yeah, this colourway is unreal. Yeah, no, that's stunning. Oh, this colour. I think I've decided that this is the one I'm going to go for. I don't know which colour. Or oh, do I just get black? I actually love this one as well and this colour. So this is the bag on. And this is like a pinky colour, which I actually really like. I wonder if you can wear it as a backpack as well, but it's really nice. I feel like this colour goes better with this outfit. Comment below and let me know. So I have this out at the toe, ready to request an invoice or a facture. Thank you so much for your help. Merci beaucoup. Yeah. We've been waiting and we're gonna do a moment of truth and together we are going to unbox a very expensive cake, but it's literally a work of art. It's a work of art. It is it's all the weather is stunning. We just ate our Cedric cake. I don't know if you'd even call it a cake. It was very odd. It was a work of art, and I appreciate the skill. Like I've watched his TikTok and his Instagram. The amount of steps and the level that it takes to make something like that is phenomenal. It was kind of like a fruity mousse with spiced pear inside. We felt inside. bad opening it, didn't we? I know, it was like too beautiful. They did a grapefruit one, which actually looked even prettier, but I don't like grapefruit. I wanted to eat pear, and it was delicious with like chocolate around the outside. It's one of those like once in a lifetime things. I probably won't buy one again. Although, which flavour did you say you wanted to try? French toast. Okay, maybe we'll go back and buy French toast on it at some maybe point. Maybe we try that in London. Oh yeah, we could do a, 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 a taste test. Let me know guys if you've ever heard of Cedric or if you've seen his incredible designs that are a work of art. We're just heading to Cafe de Flore now. I came with Matt and I had a bad experience because we sat inside and it's like cool to sit outside. We just want to come and try the hot chocolate with the cream. So that's the plan. It's also from Gossip Girl. As you guys know, I'm Gossip Girl obsessed. Emily's seen bits and bobs. But yeah, yeah, I haven't seen. Do you know what? 
Actually, that's a different program. It doesn't matter. You've seen Desperate Housewives. <laughs> You've seen enough to understand my references. Okay, that's all right. Um, I'm gonna check. Someone said to me the other day that I'm like someone who I thought, yeah, but no, from Desperate Housewives. Oh, we're taking a left, then a right. But you were talking about a different program. Oh, I just, I'm basically black, comes to Paris, and it's just amazing. Angelina or Café de Flor? Really? Well, this isn't that they're famous for hot chocolate. We got bread. Pre lunch bread. <laughs> We're singing Emily in Paris because it is M, Ali, and M in Perry. So we went to Café de Flor and I was saying to Emily, I was like, oh, it was so overrated last time I came. And then we went and I just said to her, I actually really enjoyed it this time when I was sat outside and we had the chocolate show, I enjoyed it, but Emily thinks still a little bit overrated. I didn't rate it. I thought the hot chocolate was so good. Yes. But the the overall vibe was just a bit chaotic. Chaotic. And it wasn't like, for how much we paid, it wasn't like a luxe experience, and you could have paid the same to go to one of the nicest hotels in Paris and have a coffee there. I took Emily for her birthday and she hates it, so like I'm gonna have to find her another birthday present. I'll pay, <laughs> I'll pay you back. <laughs> I'm literally No, joking. I'm not being negative about no, it, but I don't no. want you guys to go. It's Important. Like, for me it's important that they know and I said this last time I came to Paris maybe don't go there like it's it is overhyped it's beautiful it's beautiful to it's see it's quite out of the way it's quite it's out of the of way and I, I get it if you guys are like Gossip Girl fans and you want to go there but save your money like actually I would rather go to the peninsula and have afternoon tea that's what I was comparing it to yeah so, like, you could go to one of the most gorgeous have the hotels best service. that has like a rooftop and yeah. go and enjoy that in like central Paris yeah I mean, you can even, I even think you get the vibe at Cabbage of Floor just by walking past with my Yeah, it. walk past, yeah. enjoy it. Nick, you were right. It's maybe a little bit basic. <laughs> They're just these places that are like institutions, so you should go and see them. But then maybe save we your... Yeah, no, I'm glad we went. It was cute. We lived our Blair and Serena life. But it would be... Yeah, I probably won't go again. So we are now walking. We have a lovely walk, and we're going for early dinner slash very late food. lunch. More food. You guessed it, guys. Oh, we're going to somewhere very questionable. I don't even dare tell the vlog. <laughs> I'm gonna like this one. I don't know. Apparently the french fries are fantastic. So I'll show you guys when we get there. But we have the most serene walk along the river. Very excited. Maybe you get the sushi tonight. Oh my gosh, why don't we do sushi tonight? I love sushi tonight. So my friend lived in Paris, my friend from Montreal, and he just sent me the biggest list. He even had like it categorized like fish restaurants, meat restaurants, sushi restaurants. That Kind of dedication some, I need. I'd love some salmon mango rolls. And I don't eat salmon, so I'm going to have all the salmon mango rolls and I'll have something different. It's perfect. <gasps> Dan and Talia, if you're watching this, Talia, because Dan's definitely not watching this, go to Sushi Village. Is it called, I think, in Whistler? Get the mango rolls. I'll be living through you. Oh, now I'm craving sushi. Good. And on that note, let's go for a serene walk while we dream about sushi. We just had a lovely 40 minute walk from Café de Flor and we are now just walking past actually the gallery of Dior. Oh my god, this Dior store is just stunning. We're just gonna try and get lunch at La Venue. Basically, my, my Parisian, more food. More food. My Parisian friends are kind of like, look, it's overpriced and it's a place to be seen. But apparently the fries are really good. Apparently the food is good. So we're gonna try it, we might not get in. If we don't get it's it. It's probably gonna be a huge line. But if we don't get it in, aren't we rather near the Man Mandarin Oriental? Ooh, I'm not sure, we're near the peninsula. We could go try and get afternoon tea. And you know, what, where does a great club sandwich? Oh, I love a club sandwich. The Mandarin if Oriental. Down, if you're at a hotel and you don't know what to get, get a club sandwich. I was saying in my vlog the other day from when we stayed at the uh, Lang Lanesborough. Oh, Lanesborough. I said, you judge a hotel and it's club sandwich. Yeah, Four Seasons club sandwich. Unbelievable. Um, the one at Min Mayfair is probably the best club sandwich I've had. Hey, Actually, the Lodder Londoner do a great one. Also, Ladderay do an amazing club sandwich. I had it on the Champs Elysees when I came to Paris, yeah. Oh, I love these Dior dresses. Okay, let's see if we can get in. There's a little queue forming. I'm gonna have a reservation, so we can't go, but here it is. I was excited about the fries. So we couldn't get into Lemonu, which I'm actually really sad about. I've heard different stories from there, but we wanted to try it out for ourselves. But I'm coming back in May, so I will go there. We actually decided to come to the Peninsula. It's one of my favorite hotels, and they have a beautiful terrace, so we sat on the terrace. I did ask if they could do me a vegetable pasta, and they only had like um, a fishy one. So instead I got a plate of cheese, which is... <laughs> 
so similar <laughs> and so healthy but it's fine we're living we're out here living i'll show you the view and the bread oh <gasps> you hit the butter before i can get a picture of it saying the peninsula can we ask for another peninsula butter the butter says peninsula on it they were very accommodating for me yeah. I asked for a sandwich and I asked for like a change things and they were like, oh my gosh, of course, I was like, can I have an egg on the sandwich, please? They was like, yeah. But the sandwich should have an egg and it should have chicken on it. Yeah, it's a yeah. cup sandwich. Yeah, I asked for a cup sandwich, but they only had a sandwich on sandwich and I was like, by the way, when I was in uh, I was in uh, at the salmon. I would never uh, uh, a chicken cup sandwich. That's the best salmon I know, ever. I know, but I was going to eat it. No, I feel like uh, I feel like salmon cup sandwich isn't a thing. I'm having a plate of cheese for my lunch. I'm actually allergic to goat cheese. I feel like that's goat cheese. So it's one for this girl. Um, got a cup sandwich. Do you want the salad? Literally looks divine. I'm sure you will sing me a, 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 finger, a bite full of your cup sandwich. Some bread and the butter. C'est bon, c'est bon. We had a baked apple for our dessert with like ooh, caramel in the middle and cinnamon on top. We were saying it's such a good way to do like a healthy apple crumble. Definitely will be copying that at home. We're a little bit chilly now. The jacket is definitely getting zipped up and we are just gonna have a lovely sunset walk down to, where, where do you think we should go? What's it called? The freaking tower. <laughs> Do you know how many times she's dragged me into that tower? Not I, like she hasn't got about 50 million Instagram pictures no, from it's just a few cute. years ago. Of the don't you think it's tower. just cute for us to just like <laughs> stand there tonight? But yeah, I think uh, when it's dark, watching the lights twinkle is really cute. But I actually said to Emily earlier, I was like, shall we get a dinner res or do you want to watch the sunset? And she said, I want to watch the sunset. And I had a club sandwich, so I'm really happy. She's buzzing. Oh, she's she's had a thing. I just love it. Look, I love cafes like the cafe we went to earlier. It's really cute, but like this is way more my speed. Where there's space around me, I can sit. No one's gonna ask me to leave this table. I could stay here for four hours and nobody would say a word. They're also currently charging my phone for me, and that's after they've just charged my watch for me. <laughs> it's just such a nice vibe. I love hotels. I know, me too. Hotel life is a life. So we're gonna just literally have the most beautiful walk home. And then oh, that was nice. I know. So we are going out tonight. Not out. When I say out, I mean out <laughs> for food, guys. Like I mean we're going out of the hotel room. <laughs> so we're gonna go out of the hotel room when we're back and we're organized. We'll go see her sparkle again. <laughs> Tell. Tell. And then we're gonna just find somewhere cute to eat. Okay, let's go. Guys, look at this. I just got engaged. Oh my god, oh my god. She said yes. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, it's our final morning in Paris. May have ordered chocolate mousse to the room last night, which was divine. We just had the nicest walk back last night by the river. We saw an engagement, which was just so, so, so dreamy. I went for a run this morning, did a cheeky 9K, which was actually really hard on my legs for the first like few minutes. I thought there's no way I'm gonna be able to do this, but I did it. Cause we, I think we did 42,000 steps yesterday, which is wild. We're in this cute little dress. We're all packed up. We are going to store our bags and then we're gonna get in an Uber and head straight over to the other side of Paris, it's like basically 15 minutes closer to the train station and we are gonna spend a magical day up at the Sacré-Cœur area, which I'm so excited about. I just think it's whimsical and beautiful and this one's obviously going to be with me. She has killed me this trip. So much Dude, We've walking. done so much. Yeah, but she was like, I feel great for it. My legs feel amazing. My legs feel solid, I'm a bit tired, but we do you know great, what? Right? I feel like we've done everything you, we should write this up in like an itinerary because I feel like we did so much in a really good order. I think staying beside Paris was such a good shout. I just think the absolute best way to see Paris is on foot. So if yeah. you are privileged enough to do that, then you should do that. So we are going to go and have a pastry to start the day. And oh my God, last night I did my WeVat refund form. Guys, it was so easy. I even texted my boyfriend and I was like, this is the easiest thing ever. I'm not even meant to be putting this part in the video. The ad was done way at the start of this video, but truly, it was so easy. I basically uploaded my invoice onto the app. They verified it, checked that it's all okay. I then clicked the help section. It literally said, this is what you do at Garden Or. This is the section you go to, scan this barcode, boom. Tells me how much money I've saved. So I'm just gonna literally go through security, etc., etc., scan it, and then I get my refund, which is amazing. So, can't wait to be Tommy's rumbling. Let's go. This shouldn't be Cheek 
at this tour with our friend who's showing us around the area. We're at the Moulin Rouge, which Emily's had long hair. But next time I'm gonna see a shot here. I've eaten so many pastries. Okay, so we just had an amazing brunch at Season with my friend who actually lives in Paris and he basically took us around Montmartre and the Sacre Coeur. He just walked us around, it's super busy there on a Saturday but beautiful and a definite must visit but I would advise going super early. Yeah. Now it's my first time ever going to Galerie Lafayette. Apparently they have an amazing so we're gonna go on the rooftop. Apparently they have an amazing rooftop, yes, and it's just great for shopping. So let's go. Emily says it's something you must do when you come to Paris and I've been to Paris so many times and never been in here, so quite excited. Guys, this view is literally beautiful. Yeah. That's literally it. That's how easy it was. That is so easy. Hello, you might recognize where I am. I'm back at my family home. Came back to see my mom because it's Mother's Day. I stayed in England over the weekend, so I wanted to surprise her this week. So I literally got to London and then came straight here. We were so exhausted on our final day in Paris. Oh my goodness. We just took like a few hours to sit and chill with our friend, catch up, debrief, do some work. We just had the best time. Like, I think we figured out that we walked over 60 miles, which is literally crazy. We're doing like 30 to 40,000 steps a day so proud of us and our little legs and I'm so proud of myself for doing a few nice runs it was just the most beautiful trip I now have a list of songs on my arm of amazing things that you can do in Paris which I'm going to do a blog post about them so I'll link that below when that's live on mtalks.co.uk and oh my goodness I have to say WeVat was so easy I'm super super impressed I just got a text I just got a notification on my phone to say that I've got my refund through so very very happy with that Come say hi on Instagram, at mshellax, and I hope you like this travel. I am now going on another trip. I'm literally unpacking and repacking again, but I can barely get my words out because I'm so tired. Such a great problem to have all of these travels being back, and I feel very grateful and very blessed, and it's such a great reason to be tired. Just had the best time ever with my bestie, eating the best food, catching up with our other friends, and exploring somewhere that I used to spend a lot of time in, and then obviously haven't for a few years, so very, very blessed. Thank you for watching, guys.